Hi guys, I'm Alice Jones. My nightly walk, nature, wanted to say hi to everybody. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Are we two months? I think two months into quarantine. I read an article today in the LA Times saying, I hate to say, we might be in quarantine for, um, till August. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly wondering how long we're going to be in quarantine. I mean, if it's, now, I mean, now that I've done it for two months, it seems like, it seems like I can do it, I can do it a lot longer if I have to. Um, yeah, it was a little cold here, Take, I, I have my mask I'm carrying with me. This is my straight hair, I've been like braiding it, um, just to make it different. Uh, and then today I said, well, let me just see my straight, my normal straight hair. So, um, anyway, I think I'm, I'm starting to accept that, um, that my brother wants to stay in Delaware. I, I had the case manager go to talk to him. I called him a half hour after the case manager talked to him. And, oh, hey, Rilla, hi, how are you? So good to see you. I was thinking, Rilla, you brought up about the conspiracy theories thing, and it's just so crazy what people are thinking about the, what is it, 5G, Bill Gates, microchips in the vaccine, and it's like, it's just too much craziness. It's like, this is, up the road from where where I live um, around the corner uh, but I, I mean I know people are going crazy being in quarantine and everything uh, which I, all of us are I mean for me I'm so focused I'm trying to help my brother that uh, it's kind of I, I it's like my first focus, and I am helping. Oh, hey, John, how are you? Yeah, happy, uh, happy quarantine. I know it's like, oh, I'm, I'm ready for it to be over. I think all of us. I was telling Lee tonight. I said, you know, I gotta tell you, I miss my old life. I even miss teaching. <laughs> Believe it or not, I miss just everything. I miss seeing my friends. I miss just going out like to dinner, to the art crawl, to, to everything. Uh-oh, there's a car right here. I don't know if I should turn around, hold on. But just about, you know, it's just hard. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on guys, I'm coming upon something. Um, but just like how, how I just miss everything. It's really hard. Um, I don't know why a car is parked there. Somebody's just walking. Somebody in there? weird. I always walk up here every night. And usually I don't see a car here. Um, or somebody could be in there. Okay, I'm not sure. I know why a car would be parked there though. I know if I should keep doing my walk or turn around. Um, 
Okay, we'll call Lee if I, if I don't get back on this walk. Call Lee, 323-428-9448. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe somebody else is walking up here. It's funny because I carry my mask, but it's super unusual to see anybody parked up here. So, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so we're talking about the whole quarantine thing and how hard it's been on all of us. And, you know, for me, I guess in a way, I'm, I told Lee, it's like, I'm retiring early. I mean, I was going to, the weird thing is I was planning to retire July anyway, but this has like forced me into retirement. I have another like little part-time job being a secretary. Um, for an actor that I haven't felt in Perry, who he's really cool. Um, he's in his 80s now, so he's a retired actor. Um, but uh, he was in all the Robocops and stuff. But I haven't even gone there because, because of this whole um, coronavirus mess. Uh, so look at the cactus, isn't it so cool? But yeah, I was talking about before I came upon that van, um, the whole conspiracy theory people, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's too much for me. It's now I'm having zero tolerance. Somebody, well, even my friend Leah, but I think Leah is saying now that she made a mistake. She posted that pandemic thing. And I said, I even messaged her, you know, and said, do you really believe this? Because she is a very educated woman who's my friend, you know, um, very smart. And when she posted that, I just like kind of had a little meltdown because I'm like, what? You believe this? You know, but it could be I mean, a lot of people. I worry about people like by themselves, like during the pandemic. Uh, just how hard that must be. You know, like for me, I have Lee, and uh, he's been working this whole time, thank God. So, uh, and we're so thankful for that. But it's like, it must, it's just so hard. And like I said, the LA Times article I read today, to me, seemed to indicate like until August, because uh, just saying how the deaths are going to just keep going up, up, up. And, you know, it's kind of like, do you want to be alive or do you want to be dead? I want to be alive. So maybe I'm going to have to hide out. So no birthday party. Lee's birthday is May 19th. So bummed about this. We cannot have a party. My birthday is July 1st. I've had a party ever since I was 21. My, um, I remember when I was turned 21, I was in Cusco, Peru. And, uh... I was working at a vegetarian restaurant called Pura Vida, which, which means pure life. And I had a man, um, uh, Alan Tillotson, who was an old boyfriend who studied Ayurvedic medicine um, in Kathmandu, Nepal, who he proposed to me in Machu Picchu. I said no, because I was only 20. He took off for Bolivia to Lake Titicaca. I know, Lake Titicaca. <laughs> anyway, and, uh, you know, I stayed there and I was, you know, doing yoga. And and anyway, it was just a whole adventure. Then I was volunteering on an orphanage. Um, also, I was doing puppet shows. It was really magical. It was all the way back in 1978. Um... But anyway, when I had, the reason I got off on that, when I had that party, when I was 21, I said, I will always have, celebrate my birthday with either a party or dinner, because then it was a, a dinner in the restaurant I was working in, and I always have either a party or dinner, um, you know, only, yeah, the, uh, for, since I was 21, and I'm going to turn 63, so I'm, getting up there anyway um and this year I have to say I don't know I don't think I can do it and I mean I want to do when it's safe 
to do a housewarming. We're planning now, we're, it's all up in the air about Lee's job, but possibly we think it's gonna go to the middle of September. So, uh, so now we're planning to move in September. Maybe we'll do a gradual move. Uh, we already started moving some things out. Um, yeah, so I'll show you. Now, the, I'm assuming that people in the van are probably, could be teenagers or something. I didn't like, I held up to the van, but they could have been in the back. And look at this, all the wildflowers. You can see the canyon. So peaceful. I love it here, truthfully. So, um, I know I'm so fortunate. Like I said, it's Lee's like really protective of me. It's like I I don't even go grocery shopping. You know, he'll go to the gas station for me to put gas in my car. Sometimes I say, well, just take my car, just drive my car, because you know I'm not driving it right now, and um, so. I just make sure, I'm trying to make sure now that every day I just do a little nature walk. Are you guys doing that? It's like, cause it's just, you know, I get a little exercise. Um, maybe I gotta start doing this, um, this on these online classes, you know? Um, I guess I could, I mean, if I'm motivated. I don't know, I mean, have you guys, you're all doing pretty good, I mean, Luckily, therapy I can do online, so I'm going to do that Wednesday, so I do it every other week. That's really good. And, yeah, and so now with my brother, you know, I found a place for him to be here. Um, I researched medical transportation. I got, like, everything was coming together to bring him here, and now my brother's saying he doesn't want to come here. So I'm kind of, like, kind of crushed about that, but I'm realizing it may be easier I, I'm his guardian, so I mean I have to uh, look out for him. But I, I found a place in Wilmington that's supposed to take him, um, and after whenever their stay-at-home order ends. And so I'm just thinking maybe that's for the best. And I just have to real, you know, maybe he'll reconnect with his daughter. Maybe not. I don't know. But it's just like. Everything about this is just like taken, taken over my life. I mean, but but because it's had to, you know, because because uh, I love him and I want the best and I'm looking out for him and you know just like you know I promised uh, my mom um, that I would always look out for my brother. And I am, but like I said, I, it would have been so cool. I would have loved to have him in the desert. You know, it's like, uh, you know, if he could hang out, it, his, his memory's really bad. Cause now it's when a woman went in, like I said, the case manager, half an hour later I called, he couldn't even remember that half an hour time. And you know, maybe I couldn't handle him and Maybe I was being unrealistic because I thought I could, uh, you know, that I could handle more things. So I'm kind of bummed, but I'm trying to look at the bright side. I mean, if he's there, in a way, it's like my life is easier. I still can do things like I did for my mom. I was her power of attorney for, I'm trying to remember how long. It could have been, I think, six years, I'm going to say. And so I was able to oversee stuff and go back once a year. I think, too, what I'm bummed about is I can't even... Look at the big cactus. Cacti. Um, I don't know. It's like, I, I'm thinking, when am I even going to fly? I don't even know when it's safe to fly. And... I wish to God, I don't know, any of you are considered high risk, considered high risk, you know, and it's like, so I just, that's why I feel like I have to hide out, and and I pray, you know, I don't know, you know, some people are saying, oh, you know, you shouldn't talk about, it. you have to hide out till we have a vaccine or a cure, but I mean, uh, 
seems like you might have to. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be an alarmist or, uh, you know, but I, I told Leah, I said, how long? If it takes two years, do I have to hide for two years? Like, just, I don't know. I can't wait till I can actually, like, see real people. I mean, I'm. it's going to be, like, so great to just be able to, um, you know, just to see everybody. It's like, I miss everybody. You know, it's... No, it's really hard. Oh, God. I don't know. I mean, God bless all of us that we get through all this. And, you know, let's see. It's the mysterious van. Trying to figure out what's going on. Hello, van. Because I didn't see anybody walking. So, it's a mystery van. I should have seen somebody. Could be somebody living in it. I don't know. Oh boy. So, oh hey Rick, how are you? Good to see you. Telling him about how I'm probably boring everybody just talking about all this stuff. Um, and taking people on my walk for anybody who's like shut in inside. I love this walk. I mean, I must wish you guys could all, like, come come visit here. Like I said, I wish I could, like, actually visit with people, but I can't yet. None of us are supposed to. So, it's like, I don't know. It's hard. It's really hard. Oh, wait. Does this, I don't know if this works. It says, bring him on camera. Rick, I'm trying. Uh... Could. I don't know, but um, but it, but I, I think actually I'm doing okay. I mean, like I said, I can't wait to get my hair done. Oh my god, that's like one of the things you know, at least food wise, you can get takeout. That's good. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out for Lee if I should do like a Zoom birthday. Should I do a Zoom? Oh, hey, Carlos, I'm trying to figure out, should I do a Zoom birthday for Lee? I mean. Maybe I gotta do that. It's on May 19th. I told Lee I'm gonna do something, but I, you know, I can't do a party. I was gonna make me sad too, not to do a birthday party. I, I mean, like I said, since I was 21, I did a birthday party, so I'm kind of bummed. But you know, we have to pray for everybody because now, on the news tonight, it said 80,000 deaths in in the U.S. I mean, the world, of course, you know. I forget. Is it a million? I mean, it's a whole lot. Um, it's it's a lot. I, I have to look it up. Sorry, I can't remember. But I don't know. It's focusing on the U.S. being 80,000. So I say you still got to wear your mask um, no matter what. Like, please, everybody. Um, until, I think until... Until we see, you know, it's not, because now I heard today it's supposed to be doubling in California until August. So that's what makes me think, well, does that, that probably means we got to be careful to August. Now, different places, it's not affecting as badly. L.A., Los Angeles, it's like, you know, really not, really bad. So that's why I think I'm going to, well, I mean, I'm in Glendale, but still you know Los Angeles County um so just got to be like really really careful isn't it so pretty here it's like I love all the I love the green I just think it's weird that we have like a dirt road here we have a dirt road in the desert it's like it's it's kind of funny to me I mean but I think I like green a lot um, and that's, you know, here, so much green. It's so pretty. But I, I hope you guys are doing well. I miss everybody. I wish we could go out again. I was asking, Carlos and Rick, I wish we could go out again. <laughs> I want to go out with you guys. You know, it's like, I miss you guys. And I know artifacts, oh yeah, well, I think stores there is, I don't know. Here it's just curbside, but I think you guys... I don't even know. I think you can be open now, right? I'm not sure. Um, I know Sherry Elf posted 
you know, that she was a, but I was saying too, like the conspiracy theory people, oh my God, it's like so weird to me. We're gonna get microchips and the vaccine. You know, it's like, whoa, 5G, everything. They're gonna be tracking us. In reality, this phone I'm on, this is the tracking device right here, <laughs> you know, making public where I am. Uh, I mean, Glendale, you know, it's like, anybody wants to know something about me, it's pretty easy. Just on my phone, I don't have to have a microchip. There's, you know, it's just in my phone. This is up the street from our house. Our house is down there. I'll just show you if anybody appreciates Hopefully, um, oh wait, no, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, you can't, the store's not open. Is that, the, I think that's what the answer's to. I just looked. Oh, wow, okay. Um, yeah, so, I'm sorry. I, yeah, because I think, I remember Sherry out posting on Instagram that her store was open, and then I thought, I thought they were only, in LA, we're just doing curbside. Oh, I, I saw some ad. I think it's, maybe it's the Trump store has Trump face masks. Kind of hilarious. You know, it's like, yeah. Who wants a Trump face mask? I don't. Unless it's maybe Trump for prison or try lock him up, lock Trump up. I don't know. I, that, maybe I'd wear that. But yeah, here's, um, you can see in our house is come is that. You, you see the brown um, and the tan. Um, on, the, on the outside, it's nine colors. So that's kind of good. Oh, can't be open yet. Okay, we cannot open. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, I love artifacts too. I want to go back to artifacts. I want to buy some artifacts. But I know you guys have an online store. Um, yeah, so, and here's our house. And like I said, I love our house. So pretty. I'm going to miss it. This has been like the best house ever. Essential curbside and some retail, but no indoor. Okay, okay. Now I get it. Well, oh, good, good. So, Carlos, so you're probably posting, like, do videos of what you have and, um, you know, to get people, if they're doing curbside, or you're probably, you know, you're smarter than me, you know all this. It's like, yeah, and then they can do the curbside um, stuff. That's the bottle brush tree that I think is so pretty. So nice. And here's our house behind the bottle brush tree. Okay. So, thank you for coming on my little walk with me today. I love you guys so much. Um, and, um, and no one's shopping art. Well, they will shop art, or I hope. I think, I think everybody's freaked out because... Yeah, I mean, I myself, I know they say some people are shopping online, and it's like, but, um, yeah, I haven't even, you know, it's it's hard to, to think about, to think about that, you know, and it's like, and I, and then for Lee, well, I did think about that, so I, I actually, I did order online from, well, I can't say, but from a friend who's an artist, I'll say later, because if Lee watches this, a couple things I know he's gonna like so I'm excited about that and artists that you guys like that Rick and um, Carlos that you guys like so but I can't that's all I'm gonna say I totally I ordered something and that's it you know so anyway I love you guys <laughs> okay so I will um, I hope I see you soon Maybe I, we're going to come to the desert this weekend. I mean, sometimes I wanted to show like our new house. So I don't know, Carlos and Rick. I mean, if we social distance, I have my masks, um, you know, maybe. I mean, you know. So, okay. Love you guys. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, wait. Oh, is it still going? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Bye-bye.